Hi. Hey. Please introduce yourself. Uh, so I'm uh, Andy Woffer, I'm the chair of the Octo Project uh, and we're here at Embedded World 2023 uh, and it's been crazy busy, uh, which has been great to see. People queuing up pretty much to speak with you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the Octo Project's uh, quite common in the embedded space um, and actually this is our first year uh, coming to the event um, and we've been overwhelmed by technical questions, by commercial questions, uh, people wanting to get started, um, people uh, just walking by and, and saying thanks very much for all the work. So it's, it's really good to see. Are you able to answer all the most technical questions? Uh, no, some of it has been pushing my knowledge and experience, which uh, it's, it's fun, uh, nice to see. Um, but I'm there on Slack and IRC asking uh, much more knowledgeable people, uh, how do I answer this question kind of thing, so it's all be good. When I walk around the embedded world, everybody says the word Yocto. It's like it's all over the place, right? There's, yeah, there's a lot it's, of it in the embedded world. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, Yocto is a platform to build a, a custom Linux operating system, uh, and it's used from uh, small home automation devices right the way up through to hyperscaling uh, clouds and satellites and, and you know so it is literally from uh, earth to space and uh, it says number one platform yeah. to validate new SOD SOC designs yep absolutely so uh, yeah. thanks to Yocto's modular uh, capabilities uh, it's very quick and easy to get uh, an operating system uh, up and running on new hardware uh, and uh, absolutely it's uh, one of the best tools uh, for the trade. And I see your, your badge has an, an ARM logo. Uh, yep. Fully supported on everything you can think of out there? Uh, <laughs> um, I'll never say 100%, uh, but a large number of ARM-based platforms are supported. We, we have a, a huge uh, number of um, ARM ecosystem partners that are actually members of the Octo Project. Um, ARM themselves are a platinum member of the Octo Project and we use it heavily. Uh, and so, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's well supported. What goes into being a member? Do they have to upstream everything, contribute? Do they get roles? Um, so th there's, uh, a, there is a financial element to uh, becoming a member. Um, but you know we're, we're open to ecosystem partners, etc. Um, but uh, yeah, members uh, have the opportunity to steer the direction of the project, um, have a say in what does doesn't happen, um, what they'd like to see happen, what events they want to see the Octa project at, etc. Uh, and so you know, it, it's not a pay-to-play. Far from it. You know, if, if you want to contribute code, please do. Nothing stopping you. If you want to participate, you want to advocate, please do. Uh, and so, yeah, it's, it's all good. The, the, all the members agree where it needs to go? For the most part. Uh, it, it's nice to have some pushback from our membership every so often and just to make sure we're kept honest. Uh, you know, they, they make us think long and hard, make sure that we're doing the best for our membership and the project. Uh, and, and that's important. There's no point just wasting money and time and effort uh, if it's not going to be a benefit to people. So what's coming next? What's the big thing? that? Where's it going? Um, world domination. Uh, you know, like, as I mentioned, we, we, you know, the Octa project is already deployed in satellites. Uh, it's deployed in the Mars rover. Um, it's deployed in aircraft, in uh, sailing vessels. Um, trains, machinery, you name it, right? Te and telecommunications equipment, the whole uh, nine yards. So uh, I think next step is making sure that security is, is as good as it can be. Um, you know, working with members and partners on how to improve the security aspects of things. Uh, we already, by default, provide uh, software building materials in the builds, uh, so we're compliant with legislation coming out of the White House and out of the EU. 
Uh, and so, yeah, it, it's uh, it's iterative improvements. And we talk about all these 5G base stations out there, arm parts, some of them, and everything. Uh, is it yeah. where it goes, or well, it goes so to the little, tiny little, smallest Linux devices? Um, yes, to all of that, right? Uh, so. Um, Absolutely, in you know, 5G uh, telco base stations and, and other constrained devices. Um, the automotive industry is um, a large consumer and contributor to the Octo project, uh, and so you know we, we've got members like BMW, uh, automotive grade Linux, um, and so you know there, there's a large number of vehicles running Octo currently at the moment. Uh, I believe if you bar if you have an i series BMW, you're running Yocto in your car, uh, uh, and that, that's just one of many. Uh, and so, yeah, it, we are quite well supported in, in the industry now. One thing that's cool about Linux in devices is that it keeps getting better. The device doesn't get worse. Correct. Um, there, there are. There's always improvements. Uh, it's always moving forward, always moving upwards. Um, some people will say that um, Linux is getting a bit big, a bit heavy. Um, the advantage of using Yocto to build your Linux is that you're building just enough uh, for what you need. So you pick and choose. It's like a buffet. You uh, take what you want, and then for, you for the most part, you you build only what you want, rather than taking a traditional Linux distribution and and ripping pieces out. Uh, this, you're actually just from the start building only just enough. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Thanks, Thanks. a lot. No worries. You okay. take care. Cheers.